Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Jan Dyer. Tonight we are doing something so simple, so basic, it's just, we're basically just opening cans and putting it in a pan. But I wanted you to see me do it. I wanted us to do it together because I wanted you to see it's so very simple, but when you take it out of the oven, it looks delicious. You know, I grew up eating pot pies, mainly in um, wintertime, those little banquet pot pies, you know, that you put in the oven, and then when they came out, you were so ready to eat, you'd burn your mouth. This is kind of what this tastes like. I'm using two pie shells, my Pillsbury crusts, and they work out perfect. And truthfully, you don't have to roll these out. You don't have to do a lot of work with them. I'm only going to do it tonight because I want to have just a little more room on that top crust. And sometimes my bottom crust curls up on the end. So that's the only reason I'm doing it. Even when you use these, go ahead and put down just a little bit of flour. Not a lot, just a little bit. Just enough so that you can put it in the pie pan. Because if it was stuck to your counter, it wouldn't help anybody. Hey, and I wanted to show you too while I'm doing this. Look at my cute little apron. I hope you can see it. You know, I, I'm a realtor. I know y'all know that. I've told you that. I also serve on the state board. And my friend Susan Vaught from um, the Little Rock area sent this to me. We serve on the state board together. You know, we have such, it's just such a wonderful group of women and men that support each other all across the state. She sent me this apron. This is precious. I will love it forever. Susan, thank you. So this is what we're doing. Super easy crust. I hope y'all have used these. They are so flaky and just delicious. And how simple is that? We are going to put this in our pie shell. We have a few ingredients here that are ready to drain, stir together, put them in the shell, put them in an oven. It's 375. I already have it preheated. It cooks for 45 minutes. And when it comes out, truthfully, it looks delicious. Okay, that's that. Let me save my flour. I'm going to set that right there for my second shell because I've got to drain some things and stir. Got my little garbage bowl here. This is one of the best little tastes like the banquet pot pie veggies that I've ever found. And this, these are the smaller ones. They have the larger versions of these, the larger vegetables chopped up. But these are a really good size to me for um, our pot pie. But you drain them. And I'll show you when I get them drained, you'll see. They look so good. Let's see. It's everything that you'd expect to find in a pot pie. All these mixed vegetables, potatoes, carrots. There's some lima beans. I don't usually have those, but they're really good. Green beans, corn. I think there's some peas in there. But you can use any kind that you like. And even if you've got a frozen that you want to use, even if you've got fresh vegetables you want to use, this recipe just calls for canned. And I have used this forever. It's a delicious recipe. We then are going to use our chicken. That's what we're doing tonight is a chicken pie. And I think about, you know, how much you spend on a meal too when I'm kind of calculating, trying to figure out what would be good to share with, with you guys and girls. This is, it's white meat chicken. Just chicken breast, 12 and a half ounces, and I got this two big cans for less than $4. And I want to say my vegetables were less than $2. So, you know, we're going to be probably $6 for the whole dinner, maybe a little over. But that's a pretty good deal because this pie will serve, you know, um, I probably will cut it in six. But if you've got small children, you could probably do it in eight. But doesn't that look good? You could use a rotisserie chicken. You could actually boil your own chicken, roast your own chicken, whatever you want to do. It calls for two chicken breasts. We may actually have more than that. 
but you can't go wrong with more chicken. So I've got those two cans of chicken. I'm going in with my veggies. The only thing we have left is, of course, I gotta have some cream soup. So we have a cream of chicken soup. I'm going to put that right in here. And can you believe it? That's going to be it. We're going to put a second crust on top. I'm going to roll it out a little bit because, you know, that's the delicious part to me. All of it's good. But I love a little bit of crust in every little bite. So just getting it spread out a little bit better. We're doing a good job. See how that's coming together? How colorful it looks? And I really, I was at Sam's today. I'm going to do um, a salad. That's what we're having. We're having this and a salad. And you don't have to plan that far ahead. 375, the oven is going to be hot, but it's still going to take us a good 45 minutes for this to be done. Let me just do a couple more turns to make sure we've got a really well incorporated. And that one can of soup really gave it really good texture. All right. We are going to put this in our shell. Got my rolling pin in the way. Let's see. Looks like I got a little bit at the bottom that's not super well incorporated. Hey, we can take care of that. We get it in here, we'll get it all mished around. I don't remember where I got that little mixing bowl, but it is fabulous. I have loaned that out to my mother on several occasions to make peanut brittle in, in the microwave. All right, now we're just going to go ahead and do our second crust. Listen, speaking of my little sweet mother, she fell. No, it's not funny. But, you know, we just got Matthias home from Children's, and now Mother fell and broke her wrist. So we're seeing a surgeon in the morning. I made her a stew yesterday. Listen, there's always ways to help people out. This is an excellent thing to have to take to people, too, because almost everybody likes chicken. And it's super simple. And like we said, it's, it's not like it's a huge investment money-wise, but... You know what? Just taking food to people says, you know what? I love you. I was concerned about you. I wanted to help out just a little bit. So, and it's easy. You see how easy this is. And we really could probably eliminate this part, but I want to try to overlap our crust a little bit just to get a real pretty crust around the edge. So, wish me luck. That's all it is right there. It's almost, it's a 29 ounce can of vegetables. And the two things of chicken, didn't I say they were 12 and a half ounces? Yes. And then just one thing of soup. Okay, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to try to roll it up and over. Just because I've seen it going down. And sometimes I have little places that are not sealed up perfectly. So I thought maybe by coming up and around, we might eliminate that. Getting it sealed really well. Just keeps all those juices in. And if you've got a little extra crust hanging over, just roll it under. All we're going to do to the top of this crust, we're going to put a couple little vents in it. And we're going to do a little egg wash on it. That just makes it so nice and brown when it's coming out of the oven. Let me see. We're just about done. I hope y'all have had a good day. It's Monday here. And um, I know you might be thinking uh, it's going to be in the mid-80s this week. It's not today. I'm so seasonal with my foods. You can ask any of my family. We're all like that, really. This is really a fall thing that I make, but... It feels like fall today. It's supposed to feel like summer tomorrow. It's called Arkansas weather. I think that's looking pretty good. Let me just pinch a couple more spots. 
Doesn't that look like a good meal? And it's going to be too. Let me just get a little egg wash. This is just an egg. I didn't even put any water in this, but it'll be all right. It's just going to make everything so nice and brown. Kind of get along the edges too. And I think I'll watch this. I've never had to do it, but if I see that those that the edge, the crust is getting a little dark, I can cover it with foil. I've never had to do that, but I could if I needed. This is the honking knife I got laying here. Should have planned ahead and had a little bit smaller knife out. My uh, crew won't be happy with me that I didn't get that done. But it's all good. We made it work. This is going in the oven. Isn't it beautiful? For 45 minutes. And when I come, when you come back, this will come out and we will be ready for dinner. So I will see you in just a little bit. Well, we are ready to eat dinner. Our timer just went off. Let me get my delicious chicken pot pie out of the oven. Oh my gosh, doesn't that look delicious? And it's beautiful. And we all know how very simple it was. Listen, I added a little bit of time to get this brown because I had, I cooked my dogs, their food, I cooked chicken. So I had put that chicken in there, so I had the door open and closed. Anyway, just adjust it how you need to, to get it the color that you want. And look, it looks delicious. And it will be. Let me just go over the recipe real quick with you. Another quick tip. Always put this on a pie plate when you, or pie, uh, cookie sheet when you put it in the oven. Uh, didn't do that this last weekend or weekend before when I made a pie for my son, apple pie, all over my oven. My fault. I got to clean it. <clears throat> okay, well, this is what we have. This is chicken pot pie. That's all it is. Make your own crust if you want to, but look how beautiful that store-bought pastry is. And it, it's so easy. It calls for four skinless boneless chicken breasts and you saw what I used I used the canned chicken and it's going to be perfect but if you want to boil your own roast your own do a rotisserie whatever but it calls for four skinless boneless chicken breasts and I wish I knew exactly how much that was we have about um, I think it was 24 ounces of chicken in here so that's going to be a lot of chicken only one can of um, cream of chicken soup and you saw my vegetables, they were just the veg all, and it was the big can. It calls for two 15 ounce cans, that was a 29 ounce can. You drain that, you drain your chicken if you do it like I did, if not, you just have your chicken that you've diced up or shredded or whatever. Mix that all together, put it in one pie shell, put your, um, all your mixture, put your top on it, there you go. We did do a little egg wash and look how pretty that makes it. So this is super simple, almost too simple to share, but you know, we're just making dinners together that are nice and easy and quick. 45 minutes in the oven gives you time for the kids to get their homework done or whatever, and then it's time for a nice dinner. Sit around the table, we're gonna have a little salad to go with it, and that's it. So I hope you'll try it, I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you have a great evening, and we will talk to you really soon.